Mr. Speaker and leader and members of uh, leadership here in Washington, D.C., and this uh, beautiful crowd that we have here today, good morning. It's great to be with all of you. Today is a special day, and it's a very special day for Filipino veteran communities. For decades, you were denied the recognition you earned for bravely answering the call to fight under the American flag during World War II. Our country has a responsibility to recognize those who put their lives on the line, and this Congressional Gold Medal is a symbol of our gratitude. It's decades late, but I cannot be more proud to be here today to finally see Filipino veterans honored and praised and shown respect for their service. It's also humbling to have many Filipino veterans in, in Nevada, some still alive, and unfortunately, some that have passed on. One of those Filipino veterans is here with us today, Sergeant Baldonado. He and his daughters have traveled 2,500 miles to be here today. That's how important this is. Sergeant Baldonado was just 15 years old when he joined the Filipino-American Army in 1942. And like many in this room, he lost comrades. And he came close to losing his own life. Now many of us can imagine such an experience at the age of 15. And that's why this Congressional Gold Medal is long overdue. Sergeant Baldonado, thank you for fighting. Thank you for your bravery, and thank you for being faithful to America. This day is for you and for every other World War II Filipino veteran, even those who have not yet to be recognized for their service. This medal ensures your place in history will never be forgotten. Thank you, and thank you for everybody being here today.